What's going on, my Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. So we're back with another roster review. On tonight's show, we've got Telly Savales. And I think he goes by Patrick Toth on YouTube or something. Very hard to keep track of everyone. And they're different names. So big fist bump to everyone in Hun Galaxy Fusion. All right, Telly, Patrick, uh, start us off in the comment section. Explain the Galaxy of Heroes name. Explain your guild name. And if you guys are recruiting, as always, put something in the comment section. So if anyone's looking for a new guild, we can help each other grow. All right, so he's in Division 9. That is pretty cool, so I can definitely help out here. I'm in Division 7, and my show is all about helping people to be able to dominate by the time they get to Division 7. So let's see if Telly is prepared. All right, Telly, I want to take a look at your Fleet first. So I always want to see what your capital ships are. I already see you got Negotiator. That to me is amazing. At only 2 million galactic power. So you've been really good with the guild currency. You haven't been buying silly gear. Um, just get Hoda. Hoda and Negotiator. Hoda immediately makes a move into your Jedi uh, Knight Revan team at 5 stars. He's viable, can't be uh, targeted. He definitely is amazing. So. I need to switch it up now, guys. So this is going to be like a little fleet special. I'm going to pay attention more fleet this time. So I just lost in Grand Arena in my first round. I have not lost in the first round in forever. I've never been I – haven't, I haven't been full cleared in a while. So I made a mistake on defense, and I'm going to show that tomorrow. Uh, it's what I'm about. i, I got to show the good and the bad. So – I got full clear because he had a seven star negotiator and a seven star malevolence in division seven. That's very rare. So good job in negotiator. That's amazing at two million galactic power. Now make sure you're building the correct fleet. I would say seven star it. Um, five star negotiator and five star malevolence may work, but you know, you might run into a seven star uh, malevolence and it would take out negotiator pretty easily. So build that one good mama ship, negotiator malevolence. You already have negotiate. So endurance, I think with a rework coming, I think it's going to be good next year. But executrix home one. So I think in division nine, is it only two fleets, Patrick? If it is, good job. You got negotiator. So what's the team you use on offense? Is it executrix? Uh, home one. No, definitely not home one. He's only uh, five stars. So executrix maybe. All right, let's take a look at his regular ships. All right, guys. So um, wish I when I do go live, I think it's gonna be so easy because I can call things out like, hey guys, uh, can you please tell me where you can find you know Rebel Y Wing, uh, Bacon Lettuce Tomato B Y Wing, uh, you know Imperial Tie Bomber because tanks are super important, guys. I'm gonna start there. Look at your tanks. Okay. I think some of the must have ships that you definitely have to start farming that I am now farming quickly are Rebel Y Wing, Bacon Lettuce Tomato B Y Wing, Imperial TIE Bomber. Those ships, and I think um, like um, the Vulture Droid, and there's another one that goes with Malevolence that they do not require any tune, like right here. It just requires seven star, and they get viable. Like their health protection's really high. They're great tanks. You don't have to gear a tune up and put mods on them, uh, relic them. So highly recommend quickly trying to get to all these ships that do not require uh, tunes. I'm farming this ship big time. You know, I have a Galactic Republic fleet. I have Negotiator. So big accounts like Justin. Anyone else that's bigger, uh, that's higher up. Definitely, this is what we, I need your help for as well. So with Negotiator, what makes that ship so good to where I can take Hound's Tooth boss ship away from that and return it to my Chimera team? Help me out with that, guys. Let's also help out our good buddy Patrick here. So he has the good ships, the Fives, the Anakin, the Snips. He's got Bugs, very nice. Uh, he got that TIE Bomber working on it. He knows. He already knows. That's awesome. Five stars. Um, you know, you got to build a good home one fleet. If you're going for like Jedi Master Luke, you're going to have a great rebel fleet. Okay. Uh, I don't see where you have a second fleet though. So I don't see. So let me know in the comment section, Patrick, what's your offensive fleet? So you got tie bomber. Okay. So that's one. Okay. So now look at this tie bomber at uh, five stars. I think mine's pretty high. Look at that health and protection pool already at five stars. I mean, that's pretty crazy. That's almost 100,000. I mean, it's over 100,000 right there. 
at five stars. So immediately is a is a pretty viable tank. Okay, so I made a mistake. I now activated my Thai bomber. I got it working. So by the next set of Grand Arena, you know I'm always improving. And I want to help everyone else improve as well. So definitely get the Thai bomber working. You've got. Um, I'm sure you're putting your bugs. So I, I would think your bugs with Executrix, with Thai bomber starting. I would bring Soldier off the bench because he gets a a bigger hit from this ability right here. He gains offense up, and he can hit pretty hard with this one right here and call to assist. So I, I would bring him off the bench. Start tight, tight, start tie bomber with sun fact. You got two taunts, then you got spy to one shot because you got him relic. Good job. That ship hits really hard, and then soldier off the bench. That's a pretty good second squad right there. You're negotiated with um, fives. Anakin snips starting off. I like bringing snips off the bench. I use Bosk. Okay, you don't have Bosk. Okay, all right. So let's go now to his squad arena. So remember. Patrick, you got to have four fleets by the time you get to Division 7. So great job with Negotiator. You definitely want to start building. Um, so like I said, at least two. My opponent that beat me in Grand Arena, his two second fleets were trash. And they were on defense, and I couldn't clear them because mine were even trashier. So now that won't happen in the next round. So i got to fix my issues. And definitely what I would recommend for you is two good fleets. That's it. All right, now let's take a look at your roster. So we'll start off with your, ooh, gas squad. That's awesome. I don't see too many gas, right? A lot of roster views. I haven't seen, I don't know. I've been doing so many roster views lately. It's so awesome to see what everyone has. But great job with gas. So let's take a look at your gas. I have a General Skywalker. He's awesome. Ooh, modded for offense and health. And you've completed that second set, which I don't. I have a speed cross just because the secondaries are awesome. All right, let's take a look at this gas. I love General Skywalker. Ooh, okay, so you have a pretty spread out health protection pool. So I don't know. I guess 20,000 more protection won't hurt. Mine's at 100,000. My health is at like 70. I, I don't have a health set. So, you know, if you're running him with your 501st, he has to have a lot of protection. You know, as soon as he goes down... You know, your 501st can start going down. So in a mirror match, I might have you there, depending on your, your offense. So speed, you know, in Division 7, I don't think Skywalker needs speed. You know, with Rex giving him turn meter, I haven't had to need the speed. I know higher up you might, but I take out all gas mirror matches. I haven't lost to a gas mirror match in a long time. Last one I, uh, last one I lost to is his Rex went first. Okay, critical damage. Take a look at the offense. Ooh, this is a pretty deadly gas right here. So at 9,600 damage, yeah, that protection is is okay. You know, he's going to hit hard enough. Survivability. That used to be a thing, but I think, you know, versus gas mirror match. Ooh, that's going to be ugly because gas now with the nerf and then buff, I think he can hit through defense or something. Like that. I don't know. It might be a pretty deadly gas gas mirror match. But I think the only thing that I would have you on is my damage is a little higher. Mine's at 10,256. So I would hit a little hard. So your gas hopefully would drop first. Mine's actually a little quicker as well. All right. So great job with gas. That's a hard hitting gas right there. Good job. Actually, you know what? I want to take a look at some of his mods. I'm sure you've farmed a long time for these mods. Offense, health, speed, offense. Okay. Protection, health, offense, speed, good speed, secondary. Speed, offense, health, crit chance. That's a good one. You want you want a lot of offense and you get a lot of protection. That health uh, percentage is great. Okay, offense. And I have offense here as well. Potency, I don't care about. Uh, protection is nice. Health is nice. You know, that's that's a I haven't seen protection go that high without the percentage. That's nice. 2200. Okay, but I know uh, percentage is always better. Crit damage, protection, percentage, speed, offense, health. That's a deep, that's a good mod right there. I love percentages. That's a decent mod. To get a crit damage with that much speed, ooh, that's a unicorn right there. It's hard to find these triangles with crit damage with high speed. Fist bump right there, bro. That's a good one. Offense ten. I have offense here too. Protection. Ooh, a three thirty six hundred protection. That's cool. Wow. Very good job on your mods. Uh, I know that took you a while. It takes a long time to get good mods. And, um, they're good. You know, you have a very hard hitting gas. I I, I like the stats. Uh, I would just think just more protection. Uh, that's it. All right. Let's take a look at how fast is your Rex. You know, Rex is super important. That will my Rex beat your Rex? 
Oh my, wow. <laughs> wow, so <laughs> your 501st guy would actually beat my 501st. Wow, in a, in a mirror match? Wow, so, so some people would probably see that's too much speed, but no, it's not. So I think you, you know, I've done so many roster reviews. Is this the fastest Rex we've seen? I think so. Um, or there's someone out there. I think, um, Justin, how fast is your Rex? Um, mine's at 313. So at 333, even in 3v3, that's super overkill. Like, wow. He is outrunning every 501st, Gas, Darth Revan, Jedi Knight Revan squad. <laughs> wow. Good job, man. That's awesome. Okay, none of this matters. I don't even know what I'm looking at it. So aerial advantage, just all I can say is anyone who's watching who has a, a Rex, it can be evaded, so be careful. I've, I've done it just to test it, and then it can. It doesn't say in here, can be, cannot be evaded. All right, okay. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> good, good job on that Rex. So that's going to be a dangerous Rex in Division 7. Wow, so your, your gas and your 501st is definitely ready. It's going to take out a lot. I think, like I said, mine, I take out almost every single gas mirror match. I, I said I haven't lost to one in a long time. The Rex went first, just like yours. <laughs> All right, offense, 273. Ooh, 10,000. What's the offense on mine? That's nice. I think mine's like 9,000 something. Wow, that's really nice. So offense because the turret can't crit, so it takes offense. Offense, defense. Look at that defense, nice. Offense, offense, crit damage. Another 14 speed. Wow. Man, good job. Get what you got up here. Speed, protection, protection, offense, tenacity, speed. Wow. Wow, that's a nice arc trooper right there. Good job. Well, he is Relic 7. Um, I don't have my Relic 7. So, uh, Patrick, let, us know, let me know. Can you do the... Um, can you get a cam shard with shock T lead? I'd like to know that. So let's take a look at your echo offense and crit damage or crit chance. You could do either way, crit damage, crit chance or, or offense. Echo just assists. It doesn't need that much speed. Very nice. Very nice. Nice echo. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at your fives. Modded for offense. So another um, offense modded fives. Ah, wow. So when you sacrifice, you're getting that damage to your gas. Wow. I have offense here too. Ooh, offense, offense, offense. Wow. Speed. Okay. What's the offense? 7,000. I think mine's like. 50, 5,500, 5,700. Like I have uh, defense on mine. Now that gas can hit through defense penetration, I have to change the mod on my fives because uh, gas is going to destroy my fives. And since fives can't be used for um, Galactic Legend counters anymore, everyone's definitely going to start switching up mods. I've already switched the mods from my uh, on my Vader to potency and crit damage. Okay, so, man... You can unfavorite your gas and your 5-0 swear squad. They are done. They are amazing. Good job, buddy. All right, Darth Vader. So with the nerfing to where Darth Vader cannot take on GLs, um, I think a lot of people are switching. I have crit damage with potency set. So now my potency is over like, over like 106%. My crit chance is still, I think, 90%. Let's take a look at your Vader. All right, is your Vader beat my Vader? Health protection, about the same speed. Ooh, 257. Yes, yours is, I think yours is faster than mine. 257. Potency, 88%. I got you on the potency. So potency, I think now it needs to be higher to even... Yeah, potency, I would say, gets as high as you can. You know, his damage comes from his uh, debuff. So good job. I said no less than 85%. So great job, 88%. You know, were you applying dots on Sith Eternal with that 88%? Critical chance 63. I think it gets like a 25% from Mercer or something like that. So that's definitely acceptable. Like I said, his damage goes up with how many dots you can land. So great job with your Vader. Let's take a look at his mods. 
potency, offense, protection. So with Evader, I have farmed specifically for mods for him. He just needs four things. Speed, offense, um, potency, and crit chance. That's it. And the secondaries, if its mods don't have at least three of them, I don't even level it. Offense, protection, speed, defense, nice. Okay, crit damage, potency, speed, offense, protection, nice. Speed, potency, offense, very nice. Offense, speed, tenacity, D. E, but that, but that, pit, that, but that sucks. Um, those, that's a, those are great percentages. Like, wow, I, I do love defense. Uh, I do love tenacity. I love that seven percent tenacity. But man, if that was potency and the tenacity and that defense is crit chance or offense or no there's already a percentage offense up top sorry <laughs> but yeah that's awesome do we look at this one defense speed tenacity and then wow great job with your vader buddy all right uh, we already looked at fives shock t like i said does your shock t do the cam mission she's actually pretty quick how fast is your shock t 30t is kind of like what i have mine at t i think mine's like 306 something like that uh very good do you switch mods up for the cam? Like, so if you can get the cam uh, event done, you know, do you switch your mods out? I, I just can't stand switching out mods, so I, I leave them on, and I, I need to relic them higher. I can't. I, I'm like one, probably one relic away on everyone from completing the cam mission. Like my five of first, only like relic four, relic five. So great job with Shock T. All right, we're just gonna keep going down the list. Uh, Anakin, amazing. Does he have potency? 62%. So um, you always want to go at least 75. Like I said, I, um, people in my guild, I say it all the time, uh, their Relic Nest, Relic 7 Nest with like 170 something percent tenacity can solo uh, Padme squads if Anakin's potency is not high enough. All right, very nice. Okay. Padme, uh, good job with Relic 5. I know she's needed to be Relic a lot higher for. Uh, the Galactic Legend, but uh, for Lord Vader, but five is good for now. You know, that's overkill. Protection, health, defense, speed. Okay, that's a decent Padme. What's your Padme? Speed 300, that's really good. You know, you don't want to be less than two, 275, 280, so pretty good. All right, none of this really matters. They get a lot of offense from their protection up. Okay. All right, General Grievous, very good. You don't have to relic seven General Grievous at all. 149,000, that's great. You got health everywhere. Health, yes. Health, health, health. Very nice. Health secondary, good job. So great job with the General Grievous. You don't have to go relic him any higher. Wow, I said that Rex, man. Whew, that's crazy. That speed was ridiculous. General Kenobi. Health, 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 health. Good job. Very nice health protection pool. Speed, that's pretty fast for General Kenobi. Tenacity. Okay, very nice. All right. Okay, and then, so let me know, um, Patrick. Like I said, I just get into it. I just start <laughs> looking through the roster and, you know, forget to talk sometimes. So are you having trouble with anything? Um... We'll go back in the top of the segment. I just want to finish looking at everyone that's at least relict. So Grandmaster Yoda, offense, crit chance, very nice. 275, that's totally respectable. He's over 300 speed. Offense, uh, pretty low for Grandmaster Yoda. I'll try to get that higher. I'm sure you're working on it. Uh, switch that to offense. That'll, that'll change your problem right there. Crit damage, once you max that out. You don't, you don't even have a square and a uh, cross maxed out yet. Or you don't even have offense down here. So... Don't worry, uh, he's fine where he's at now. But if you definitely want to solidify, oh wow, you only have Jedi Revan, Revan Relic. Okay, so we'll go back to the top here in a second. Just want to see what you have, and I'll go back to the top. All right, let's go to the top again. Okay, so in Division Seven, what Galactic Legend are you going for? Definitely want to let me know. So, in Division Seven. You have got to have your Galactic Legend. You've got to have your Big Bang team, like your General Skywalker, Darth Revan, or Darth Malak. Or, excuse me, I always say that. Darth Revan and Darth Malak. you got to have both of them. So you got Gas. you got to have your Vader squad. you got to have your Jedi Knight Revan squad. Like I said, if you're facing someone that's kind of just like you, 
they're going to have Jedi Knight Revan more than likely. And he's going to take out your Padme squad easily. He could take out your Vader squad. I'm mean, not saying you're going to put it on defense, but um, could take out General Grievous easily. So, like, you're getting there, man. Good job. So, you've got Shock T if you need to put run that with clones. You've got a General Grievous squad. You, you've got to get that JKR. I'm telling you, that's going to be amazing. So, I don't think you have to... Don't go for Darth Revan and Darth Malak. I hope that's what you're not doing. I hope you're going for your Galactic Legend. Uh, how many relics do you have? 5, 10, 15. Ooh, you only have 15. So that's really good. Are you even facing Galactic Legends? Have you faced one in Division 9? I don't think so. So I think what you've reliced so far is really good. I would control it. You don't have to relic 7 everyone. Snips is totally fine at 3. Um, Grandmaster Shooter maybe f Relic 5 because he does hit hard. He's the key to your damage on your JKR squad. Anakin's good. Uh, his ship is amazing, so that's definitely helping his ship out. Uh, you got to get a bug squad. Everyone has bugs. Uh, I would just don't Relic all of them. You know, you did the right thing. You got Spy. I would Relic Brood Alpha. So now, buddy, with the nerfs going on, who you relic and who you don't relic is so super important right now. For your Jedi Knight Revan squad, I would definitely relic Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, if you want to leave one of them for non-relic, uh, you don't have to relic Bass Lashan. Um, I'm taking out whatever I need to take out. My third, my opponent's third best team, second best team sometimes easily without a relic Bass Lashan. Joe Lee is key. Okay, let's take a look at your Old Republic. All right. Okay, so you, yeah, Jolie Bindo, you, you, you got to relic him. He's the key. You got to get him thick. A lot of tenacity. Lots of tenacity. Uh, okay. You've got General Kenobi. He's eventually, oh, he, he's definitely with your Padme squad. Okay, so like I said, great job with the teams that you relic so far. Um, who you relic next is super important. You know, no Asajj. You don't have to relic Droidica. Um, if you're gonna relic your, uh, you, you did B1 Battle Droid, that's great, that's a good one. B2 is amazing as well. You can leave Droidica and Magna Guard uh, alone for now. You don't have to relic any other any other bugs. If anything, just Brute Alpha. They're great on defense. Get your Brute Alpha to at least 275 speed. Ooh, 240, so um, your own Vader is soloing someone's, your bugs, you know what I mean? I think Brood Alpha has to be at least 275 speed so you don't get soloed at least by a Vader. You know, my last round I had I used at least Vader, um, Moff Gideon, and Watt. I needed the extra 8 speed from Moff Gideon. So I would say definitely get your Brood, up, Brood Alpha faster. Tenacity, get that higher too. So with right here with Queen's Will, he gets... Brood Alpha has plus 60% tenacity. So I've practiced in Squad Arena where Vader cannot apply dots to my Brood Alpha because I think my Brood Alpha's tenacity is like 150, 60, it's some, something ridiculous. Okay, And then his speed's like 278. So I have a very good Brood Alpha squad just because of my Brood Alpha. He is uh, key to your squad. Okay, and then... I don't even have Palpatine, Relic, Count Dooku... Thrawn, he is amazing. You got to work on it. What's his speed? 240. So in Division 7, my Thrawn is at 325 speed. And that's pretty fast for Thrawn. So my Thrawn is basically either fracturing my opponent's best, uh, best person or fastest person. Or I'm passing Terminator to Basilisk Sean Fallen to start that debuff train and power up my Vader. So I think he's amazing. You're definitely going to work on your Thrawn, get him faster. I would highly recommend uh, Moff Gideon. Ooh, you have Basilisk Sean Fallen. Amazing. Put her with Vader. Sith Apprentice gives him all kinds of goodies. Uh, I think when it's powered up, he does get potency as well. If you max that out, he gets potency. Okay. You don't need Phoenix Squad anymore. Uh, definitely got to get that generator working up there. Watt Tambor is amazing. You got to get Watt Tambor with a potency on the cross. Good job. What's the speed? 239. Uh, for where he's at, respectable, but definitely get him faster. Potency, I feel like he gets resisted all the time. And my potency is like 85%. So definitely shoot for higher potency. I think once you um, six dot that cross, get some potency secondaries, you can get up there. 
Good job with Wat Tambor. Definitely is viable at four stars. Varys Offy, amazing. Uh, I have not relicked her. I refuse to. Like, she's just going to factor in the matchmaking. You don't really need a fifth on a Padme squad. You can use a gear 12. Like I use R2-D2, who's been forgotten about. You just got to have Padme, Anakin, Snips, and General Kenobi. You can use a gear 12 fifth. And I still use that in Division 7. And I still take out Kylo Ren on mass teams. Full Relic 7, no problem. If they're not full Relic 7, I can take R2-D2 out and four-man it. So you do not need Barriss Afi. I would not raise your galactic power or your matchmaking by relicking Barriss Afi. It is going to be so important who you relic now. Because the more you relic, the higher you relic, you're going to run into a galactic legend. So be careful. Commander Luke Skywalker is a great squad. For Han to shoot first and stun somebody, this is an amazing team. I would get it to gear 12, sneaky, well-modded, uh, one of your best gear 12 teams. Ooh, I see Night Sisters. That's amazing. Two million galactic power. I sometimes forget. Night Sisters, everyone has to use a better squad to take out Night Sisters. They are underestimated. I am secretly building them slowly. Um, once I get... Jedi Knight Luke, and I emerge in Division 5 with two Galactic Legends. That's my uh, my plan. <laughs> uh, I'm going to definitely get uh, Night Sisters as well. They are a pain to deal with. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the top. All right. So we're trying to help out uh, Patrick Greedle Dominic. We're at 26 minutes. So, guys, did I, have I missed anything? You know, am I correct in my... Um, he he's got a he's got great squads. I mean, look, he's relic the right tunes. There's nobody else relic. I don't think you're running into Galactic Legends. Definitely, you know, I definitely want to know that you have the correct teams. You have an amazing gas and five o first squad. Like that is that's dominating in your division. I I know it is. I know you're taking out every single gas. Let me know. That'd be awesome to know. And then you've got a great great Padme squad. Are you doing Padme, Anakin, Snips, uh, General Kenobi? And then who's your who's your fifth? Are you using Barris Offy? Are you using Shock T? You know, Shock T I did use with JKR for a while. So great, great job with the right tunes. Don't relic seven anyone else. I'm telling you, that just factors in the matchmaking. I don't think you had to full relic seven some of your uh five oh first. Like that's definitely factoring the matchmaking. You have five, ten, fifteen, but one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you got six relic sevens. So you might be running into people who have 20 relics to your 15 because they've spread out the relics more. Let me know on that as well. You got to be careful with um, uh, how high you take your relics. I think for Division 9, I think you're fine for where you're at. You know, just don't go so high anymore. Uh, control that. Get your Jedi Knight Revenge Squad up and running, and you're going to be really good. Control that galactic power. Do not activate or level anyone. You could emerge in Division 7 with Negotiator, a Galactic Legend, Gas, Darth Revan, Darth Malak, JKR, and Padme Squad. If you control it and do it right, do not experiment and relic anyone else. That is it. I love uh, rosters like yours because I, I, I know... By the time you get where I'm at, you will dominate if you follow exactly what I'm telling you. Uh, your roster looks amazing so far. All right, buddy. Uh, I hope you enjoy that. If this is helpful, I think it's so helpful for everyone to see the good and the bad, what everyone has, um, early players to learn from this. Uh, blast the like button if you enjoyed it. I've got uh, more roster reviews coming out, something on defense tomorrow. So stay tuned, guys. We're trying to get the live show, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell your guild. Until next time, Darth Kimchi signing out.